Okay. I'm getting all Louis stuff ready and I'm writing like a whole out <laughs> a whole book of notes for my mum um, to take care of him and I just like started crying. Like I know my mum will take care of him. Um, I just hope he's not really scared. I'm sure he'll be fine. I'm sure he will be, but I'm dreading like having to just walk away and leave him. I just started my period as well. First day of the holiday, of course I did. Um, but that's not helping. <laughs> it's not helping with the um, with the crying and the hormones and everything, and uh, leaving my baby for a week. <sighs> There's a little dog that keeps coming over to where we're staying. She just ran like inside the house and her owner came and got her out. But I'm kind of tempted to just say, you, can we babysit her? Like, just leave her with us for a while. She's so cute. And he literally just took her back and she came running straight back over to us. Hello. <laughs> oh, she wants to play. <laughs> Today, we're going to the monkey sanctuary, which I'm so excited about. It's called wild futures or at least the charity around it is called wild futures they rescue monkeys and stuff that have had a bad start in life or have been kept like you know as pets i didn't realize this but it's still legal in the uk to own primates as pets and they've got a petition on their website it seems pretty obvious that you you can't give a very intelligent social animal like a primate everything it needs in a cage in your house mm. or in a shed or whatever I'd quite like to become an ambassador for them maybe like all you have to do to be an ambassador is do some fundraising every now and again and raise awareness and stuff raising awareness right now basically an ambassador already <laughs> come to the monkey sanctuary with us Unable to exercise, with no access to natural sunlight, lack of vitamin D meant that Joey became crippled by the bone disease. Curved and fused spine, boned arms and legs, a misshapen pelvis and displaced hips mean that Joey will always be disabled. Joey's case isn't unique. Shockingly, it's still legal for primates to be kept as pets in the UK. There are approximately 5,000 privately owned primates, most of them born and bred in the UK. Primates are wild animals, and it's not possible for a pet owner to meet their complex physical, social, and psychological needs, resulting in these captive monkeys suffering in situations of neglect and isolation. But Joey was fortunate, one of the lucky ones. Joey was rescued by Wild Futures, a charity working to bring an end to the primate pet trade. Every monkey at the Wild Futures Monkey Sanctuary has arrived with serious physical and or psychological problems. Please help Wild Futures give other monkeys like Joey a life they deserve and give for just three pounds a month. Thank you.
There's information about all the monkeys on their website and their backgrounds and you can adopt a monkey and sponsor them. I feel like I got to know the monkeys quite well because at every enclosure there was a member of staff and they would tell us like about the monkeys and their personality and how old they were and their background. I learnt that one of them likes people with blonde hair, another one doesn't like people with dark hair. Most of them are all older than me and the birds seem strangely calm around the enclosure considering we got told that occasionally they get pulled in and eaten. It must be incredible to work there and be able to get to know the monkeys and see them improve and just watch them. Like I could have just watched them all day doing their monkey stuff. Looks so soft and fluffy, doesn't he? There's a monkey there. <laughs> oh my god, what type of monkey is that? <laughs> 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 oh, I've seen that one before. Something a bit off about that monkey. Today we're at the Eden Project and it's raining <laughs> and the only shoes I have with me are flip-flops. But I'm excited to see the plants. This is basically plant paradise. Well, it, it's a rainforest in a dome. I wonder what bath bomb that is. <laughs> well, it's a big one. So many massive leaves everywhere. <laughs> I'm a, oh sorry. <laughs> Stick you in the face of the leaf. I'm a big fan of big leaves. So many big leaves. Oh my god, look at those ones. Handling the humidity a lot less well than I thought. Like I'm ready to, <laughs> I'm kind of ready to get out to be honest. It's really hot. It's such a worst. What is going on here? What is this? <laughs> I don't know. If this is safe for my camera. Uh, I'm, I'm attached to this damn top. Have you managed this? Trust you to get caught on the, on the plants. You're going to kick me out. It's not good. Oh, you're so cute.
I love this swimsuit so much. I've had this for quite a few years now. I got it from Marks and Spencer, I think. We're heading up the stairs to our hot tub on the roof, our private hot tub on the roof. I told you we should have put those away last night. Well, I'm high now. I'm high <laughs> Wow. Ready? What? Are you turning the bubbles off? <laughs> Today's Thursday is the last day of our holiday. Tomorrow we head home and it will be a shame to leave but at the same time I miss Louis a lot and I'm looking forward to seeing him again. Oh, here comes Alex, out of the shower. He'll have a towel over his head like a saint. He always does. Hey. Sorry, come I'm really surprised actually how many vegan options there are around here. There are a lot of places that advertise that they have vegan options and a lot of places that as long as you call up or you ask in advance, they'll make veganized things for you. I actually think there might be more vegan options here than where we live and we live in a town not far from London. On our first day in Lou, we ended up having lunch in Mama Jay's Italian kitchen and we actually went back there the very next day to have lunch again because it was so good. We had a nice little bread board thing for starters which was very tasty. Their sweet potato fries were perfect, they were so crispy and oh god watching this back is making me hungry. <laughs> the pizzas were really good and you can customise them, make them vegan, put whatever toppings you want on it. While we were in there we noticed this dog outside that was passing its ball through the fence to people and playing fetch with them. <laughs> So of course we had to go meet him. These balls there and it says you like to play catch but we can't get the ball. You need to pass it to us. <laughs> He's so not bothered. Look, Ash, pass pass your ball out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had some pizza left over so that was my breakfast the next day. We went to a supermarket and got a bunch of bits. I had crumpets for breakfast quite often just like I do at home. I'm a big crumpet lover with Vegemite on. I had a mountain of mini waffles and beans one day. I also picked up some of the Outpro chocolate soy milk cartons and the cartons and the straws have changed and I don't know how I feel about this. Ooh, the straws have changed. Oh no! Ooh. I'm gonna review the new Outpro straws. <laughs> unboxing so hmm, a bit more technologically advanced than the previous straws oh, what's yes. this all about it's weird like I can't the little bit in the middle is making like an air pocket and I can't it's like bubbling not happy about this outro what are you doing <laughs> At the Eden Project for lunch, we had smoky sweet corn and tofu fritters with green harissa mayonnaise and whole grain rice and some salad. It was really tasty and my favourite thing was that we sat outside and we were surrounded by people with adorable dogs while we ate and I could just look at all the doggy faces. Ugh. We had a Chinese takeaway for dinner one night. We just asked them to make sure that the dishes were vegan and they were. We had tofu and... Uh, chips and a mushroom curry and it was really really good. I cooked gnocchi for dinner one night and we just made ourselves dinner quite a few evenings with like stuff we got from the supermarket. There were so many vegan options around where we were staying that I didn't even get to try because we didn't have time or places were shut by the time we got there but I was pleasantly surprised by how many options there were. I kept thinking about Louis all the time while we were on holiday and it didn't help that we were staying somewhere called Lou. One of Louis's nicknames is Mr. Lou. I call him Mr. Lou all the time. Then in Lou, Lulu, the singer, 
was performing sometime soon so there's posters everywhere saying Lulu I mean Lulu and Lulu Bean is my main nickname for him and then there was a shop called Louina and I just kept thinking that would be Louis's name if he was a girl kept seeing Lou and Lulu and Lou Louis Lulu Lou, Lou things everywhere reminding me of him <laughs> For you, we decided you're not so stinky after all. Did you miss us? No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> it was a nice time. Yeah, yeah it was lovely. Really nice. How was Lulu? He's been fine. Yeah, he's been fine. Oh. So yeah, and it is. It, it just goes to show it's like, hey, sounds like there's a big lump of game missing to me. Yeah, what exactly? 